Hi, I'm Laura and welcome to my channel, Aquamarine 18 Tarot and Books, where today I'm talking about neither tarot nor books, and instead talking about trees. Specifically, I want to share with you the tree I picked to explore for February, which is cedar, and in particular eastern white cedar, but the different cedars have a lot in common. There are a lot of cedars which grow very close to me, and I'm happy to be able to be surrounded by them because they smell fucking fantastic. The keywords associated with cedar, with eastern white cedar in particular, in the Tree Lore Oracle, which inspired this series, are longevity and power and purification. Longevity because cedar gets really old. And in the province where I live, Ontario, there are eastern white cedars that are over 1300 years old in areas like the Niagara Escarpment. I'm going to share some photos of those trees with you. This one is not nearly as old as that. The, the keyword purification is associated with this tree because um, in many contexts, cedar is used for purification, whether that be by smoke cleansing and burning cedar or by, um, you know, you can have water on the uh, needles of a cedar and sprinkle the water to purify a space in that way and um, power because Dana O'Driscoll, the author of the Tree Lore Oracle, um, explains how cedar can bring power to a working, can be associated with power when you're divining with this deck, and when the card comes up, the, the eastern white cedar card comes up in a reading, if you're reading with the Tree Lore Oracle, it could mean that paying attention to, to power relations is an important thing. So here are some pictures of some um, areas that I've got to visit that have some very, very old eastern white cedar, uh, particularly including Mazinaw Lake. Cedar is used in a lot of um, construction applications, um, including red cedar, and cedar is a favorite of carpenters, my partner Chris tells me, for, uh, for things like decks and raised garden boxes because cedar has anti-insect properties or insect repellent properties. It's also rot resistant, so in terms of being used uh, for construction outside, cedar wood is a really good choice for that reason. Speaking of the insect repellent properties of cedar, cedar oil can be used in insect repellent. If you make things with essential oils, cedar oil is a great addition uh, to a spray that you can make to repel mosquitoes and keep them from biting you. I would associate eastern white cedar with adaptability, the reason being that uh, it grows in some really divergent conditions. So where we are here um, in a park near my house, the same park that I filmed my previous tree video in actually, um, the, the cedars here tend to grow in kind of boggier conditions, conditions that are wet, close to streams and creeks and ponds, but other of the exact same species, including the, the really um, longest lived ones will grow in very thin, rocky, drier soil. So cedar really can grow in some really, really different kinds of terrains. And because of that, cedar's um, 
cedar's trunks and cedar's branches can look really varied. So they can be really tall and straight, they can be shorter, they can go in all kind of angles and twist and turn. And so I was thinking that, you know, connecting cedar to, to power, this kind of adaptability, I think, speaks to the ways in which power, you know, having power and holding power is not about rigidity or hardness or inflexibility or uh, not being able to adapt to change or being really insistent on things being a particular kind of way. I think Eastern white cedar um, is a really good um, reminder of the ways in which power can look like growing in different directions depending on what you're surrounded with and growing in directions um, you know that may be unexpected.